politics, even state politics, but when it comes to presidential, it seems like our vote gets stolen by the electoral college. You know, and, and what's the purpose of the popular vote? But we can't be trusted as a people to elect the president. And people say, well, what's popular is not always necessary what's best. But that has to do, I think, with education as well. If we can't make a wise choice, why? It's because we're not well educated, because our school systems are failing. I think it's up to us to try to influence the vote, which is important, but also to continue to do our work on the side. You know, we, we wanted to um, depict, you know, a, a, an ancestral person, but uh, cast them in a, in, a, in a time period that was set kind of way in the future, the skyline of a, of a city. Maybe Phoenix, you know, is going to be in uh, ruin and decay, um, and the the skies uh, and the, the land are going to be extremely healthy and robust. Um, and in the in the sky, um, you know, we'll see you know stars, and the stars will be connected uh, by lines that are. Uh, we'll see them as uh, circuit boards. And to me, that's a metaphor. Uh, for technology. I've always viewed our people as uh, innovative people with advanced technology. You know, we wanted to have a female, you know, represented, uh, you know, in, in the forefront. We really believe that, uh, uh, you know, the future has to be feminine, you know, it has to be, uh, the time of patriarchy, you know, has to be uh, over, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's uh, wreaked havoc on indigenous communities. Uh, time itself, you know, being with the past, the present, and the future, and we will endure, um, and we will always be here. So that's kind of what this mural will be about. Mm -hmm.